believe it. She's moving. I'm not sure I've ever seen a contestant with more pure grit than this. Well, she's hurt bad. How much longer can Scarlet last? sure she wants to hang around those explosive barrels for too long. She is on pure adrenaline at this point. But it takes more than that to survive on Homicidal All-Stars. Neutralize the trap. Station. Scarlet's luck may have finally turned around. Gotta get to that station. Not so fast, bitch. And it's an ambush right in front of the healing station. Poor deals. Couldn't have caught Scarlet in a more vulnerable position. But she takes cover and prepares for another fight. She's not finished yet. And she hits her target! The scum finds some cover of his own. Staying in cover pays off for Scarlet. Scarlet shakes the cobwebs and shows off her speed. Oh, and down goes the scum. Setting up an overwatch. Scarlet is dodging bullets left and right. And she finishes him off! Just incredible! Scarlet deals with the ambushers despite her weakened state. She can finally make her way to the healing station. better. That had to feel good, but will it be enough to get her through the rest of tonight's episode? Oh, how about a little fire, Scarlet? And she's past the fire trap! Manson's back on the field. Scarlet could learn a thing or two from this veteran contestant if she's able to stay alive long enough. Red? Where the fuck were you? I turned around and you were gone. What did I tell you about sticking close? Lesson learned. Believe me. Should fucking hope so. Jesus, you look like shit. You okay to fight? Always. All right. Combat arena's next, tough gal. You take point this time. 
so I can't lose you again. Go ahead, sign it. Gotta start. Hi, uh, can I have an autograph? Sure. What would you like me to write? Oh, uh, just whatever your name is. Oh, that's you. Cool. This is it, Red. You good to go? Yeah. Looks like the challengers are gearing up for tonight's main event. As always on the show, the deadly defenders they'll be facing were selected from the most violent inmates across the country. Are Scarlet and Marty up to the challenge? Time for the final battle of the night. Will the challengers survive what's in store for them? One thing's for sure, it's gonna be bloody. some fireworks.
super deadly in close quarters with that razor sharp sword. That's go. Crew, what? Ooh, that katana is dead. The challengers can use those mobile healing stations, courtesy of Omega Corporation, to patch themselves up during combat. Ah, uh, solid. And the Ronin is down. Will his patience? And here they come. Fresh defenders ready to take down the contestants. Second to reload. Two down for the challengers. That one drew some blood. And we're unexpectedly joined by the show director, Orion Ford himself. Greetings, challengers. You're doing well. Maybe too well. Let's see how you handle some complications. That's more like it. Now you've got a better chance of going out with a bang. performance by these determined challengers. And that's it, folks. What an explosive start to the season. Tune in tomorrow night to see how these determined challengers deal with the dangers of the old quarter, including a new defender they've never faced before. You won't want to miss it. Mio, I didn't think we'd make it back here alive. We almost didn't. Here. You don't want to Miss, your weapons, please. Right. Contestants, this is your showrunner, Orion Ford. Welcome to your home away from home. Eh, I've heard this shit before. I'll be in my bunk. This is a safe space for you to rest and recuperate between episodes. So kick back a bit and enjoy the quiet. Record a contestant confessional, or maybe check some out from previous seasons. Listen to pre-screened audio recordings, or maybe just talk shop with your fellow challengers. Once you're ready for the next episode, head to your quarters and enter your rejuvenation chamber. It'll help you get in shape to give our loyal audience the show they deserve. And if you manage to survive until the end of the season, I'll look forward to seeing you in person at the award ceremony. I'll be there. Looks like there's still over 50 challengers in the game. 
With a hundred starters, I guess that's not as... Did they tell you about the ratings? There is again this year. Wouldn't that be something? Survived your first episode. Just barely. Yeah, well, maybe next time you'll stick closer to old Marty. You don't want to go it alone out there. Size, why wouldn't you want to hang with a former champ? Yeah, about that. You really think you can win this a second time? Not if I have to keep saving your sorry ass from trouble all the time. Now get into your rejuvenation chamber. You need to get patched up for tomorrow night's episode. Else? Think I'll pass. Episode 2. Let's see what you've got. Welcome back to Homicidal All-Stars, where volunteer challengers seeking huge cash prizes face hardened convicts and deadly traps in 100% real life or death action. Tonight's episode opens as we follow an unlikely duo, former champion Marty Manson and bounty hunter Scarlett Martillo, as they prepare to face the extreme dangers of the old quarter. Remember, Red, we stick together. I remember. Oh, snagged on a tripwire. That's more blood than it's in a single person. Yeah, yes. Shit. Well, better him than us, I suppose. Nobody's gonna have time to stop for a snack during this challenge. Hey, that trap's on, harmless Rita. now. Come on, oh! Securing the area. Ow! Gotta watch out for those trip wires. She's got the reward box. These sneak attacks can be devastating. Scratch one, scum! Oh, oh did anybody get the number of that train? Was that aimed at anyone? Missed! She wastes him! And they both survived the ambush! An autograph, please? Could that be the access card that Damn opens it. the me- And this, 
just became more interesting. Located a safe spot behind the wall of flame. And the challengers make their way through a scorching sea. Used to it. And that does it. The challengers. Get ready for some blood, folks. And I'm not talking about the selections at the deli counter. Now we'll find out if Don't Die is on our Challenger shopping list. That was a waste of ammo. Going on defense for a bit. Oh, not his best shot. <laughs> Setting up a kill zone. That's gotta hurt. Shot goes wide. That's going to slow them down. And down goes the scum. Kills for the challengers. Wasted ammo. That blast caused some damage. A staggering hit. He wasted some ammo on that one. Not even close! And the scum is dispatched! No easy target. Feeling the pain! Goodbye and good riddance! What a spectacle! Time to see how these challengers rated. Battle performance ratings are affected by fulfilling optional tasks and in the having survived the Mega Mole, it's time for our contestants to see what other dangers await them in the old quarter. If these former luxury apartment buildings weren't condemned, they'd be a great place to watch the show from. Hey! Can you hear me? Oh man, my second autograph today! Lucky you. You gotta catch them all, you know what I'm saying? Hey! 
Doing for the fans, bitch. Keep that in mind. Took care of that. Oh, sniper shot. Good you. Park again. Eh, for the most part. I could have done without that. Oh, come on. It was a walk in the park. Literally. The challengers will have to dodge the incoming trains if they want to cross to the other side of the tracks. Setting himself up. And she dodges the attack. Staying put for the moment. <laughs> and he takes some incoming fire while in motion. Oh, and that, folks, is why you don't. break for her on that one. That did some damage. And there goes the express. Exit one scum. Double down! the shot he unsheathed his sword he bungled that shot some sloppy shooting there what a train wreck and that's it the challengers make it look easy this time around Final challenge. Wait, Is it just me, or are these episodes hey, getting you, longer? Friend, you sure start to feel here. longer after a while. Come over. Hey, sign this. Hey, hey you, friend. Did you sign this color? But that's not me. Yeah, that's okay. Just sign it. Yeah. Should be glad I wanted her to sign anything at all. The road ahead is guarded by drones, and they're programmed to shoot on sight. Trying to sneak past the drones. Brings us to tonight's final. <laughs> A 
Is something burning, or is this whole episode just too hot to handle? is not getting up. <laughs> Goodbye and good riddance. Setting up a kill zone. Oh, that was not protected. That road in. And the challengers are faced with a few. Impervious to ranged weapons when surrounded by his smoke screen, this elusive foe should prove a serious challenge for the contestants. He takes up a guard position. He gets tagged while on the move. Destructive volley. Wiped out that fume. Slamming another clip home. Feeling the pain. Dodged a bullet there. And there's some shrapnel damage. The challengers rack up two in a row. And the contest. Tonight's episode of Homicidal All-Stars. I have to say, these challengers are fun to watch. Tune in tomorrow night to see if luck continues to be on their side as they brave the abandoned housing block where a new, even deadlier defender is ready to make their lives a living hell. With more than half the contestants dead, some of the floors must be empty by now. Not that Omega has to worry about electricity bills. Did you come back on the show? I mean, got any more advice about what's coming next? I recorded some strategy reminders, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> so much for a slow night. We just caught three bodies. Hell's Alley again? Nope. Green Hills. Huh. That'll make a change. No! No! Suspect in last month's horrific murder of a Green Hills father and his two young children in their own home has been identified as Ulysses Derrick, a 58 year old ex cop. Episode 3, huh? Let's give him a show, I suppose. It's time for our challengers to brave the twisting corridors of the abandoned housing block. With the entrance behind them sealed shut, Scarlet and Manson will have to find another exit. Where are we supposed to go? 
I only see one door out of here. And right off the bat, it's an ambush! Devastating! The challengers drop a deuce! And they both come out of it alive! <laughs> that ambush barely slowed them down! Should be an elevator behind that door. Let's go. Another twist? Heads up! More on the way! Wait! Now what? Watch it, Red! Oh! Knocked out by a grenade! The challengers are in big trouble. Go! Who's that coming out of the... Wait, it's Ulysses Derek, our current regular. What's he doing here? Hey, Manson. I gotta admit, you know, there was something back in the day, but that was then. And this is now. Marty! Believe it! Marty Manson's attempt to be the show's first two-time champion has been cut short in brutal fashion! But what about Scarlet? She manages to reach the elevator. Dios no. Marty. After the shocking loss of Marty Manson, his protege, Scarlet Martillo, is once again all alone, making her way to one of the upper floors of the block. Will she be able to survive on her own? Keep watching Homicidal All-Stars to find out. Have to get it together. Can't just wait here to die to. Taking advantage of a well-placed station. Oh no, an ambush! How much more can Scarlet take? Ooh. Oh, a lethal looking hit! Smoked him! A bot shot! alone, but she's still in the game. The door's locked. Damn it. Open, you piece of shit. Not opening. The Nowhere else to go but forward. The card required. Of course. With all other doors sealed, there's no other path for Scarlet than through this combat arena. But will she be able to beat the arena solo? There's the key card. Uh-oh, Scarlet got the key card, but now she's trapped. was a critical hit!
feeling the pain! Wasted ammo! Even more defenders on the way! If you bet on Scarlet, you might want to call your bookie. Getting up. Will she be rewarded for her patience? No defender, it's challenger Tybalt Ivashenko, up to some kind of holographic trickery. Let me see if I can get you out of there. to lower the gate. A close call. Using to be rushed. Not even close. Oh, punishing. Damage there. Locked and loaded. Fighting is time. He bungled that shot. Comes up empty. That's two in a row for the contestants. For those just joining us, rising star Scarlet Martillo has joined forces with the slippery Tybalt Ivashenko. A high-end hacker and master of camouflage, Tybalt got his prison sentence commuted by a green... Thanks, but, uh, why did you help me? You looked like you needed it. Can't argue with that, but, uh... Let's say we get out of here first and chat later. Tybalt. Now that's a ring of Did it! Anybody home? Doesn't look like the exit, but it might be worth checking out. Dressing those wounds.
grenade finds its mark. And that's two. He hits his mark. Shakalaka! And she finishes him off! And they both survive the ambush! Might be some useful stuff in here. Stuff? Is that the technical term? The contestants will be battling the clock as well as the defenders for this challenge. Those holograms sure come in handy. Playing defensively for now. Taking up a guard position. He misses his target! Laying in wait. And the scum hits the deck! Rack up two in a row. <laughs> Damn, the clock may be ticking, but these defenders decided to arrive fashionably late. See that coming. Topping off his weapon. That blade looks razor sharp. Waiting for the enemy to approach. New enemies arrive, but that doesn't change the challenger's deadline. disguises himself as the enemy. Ooh, that was a nasty surprise! Catastrophic damage! Standing watch for now. Staining placement on that grenade. Mm -hmm. 
Nope! Bam! Massive damage! the area down slamming another clip home not the best display of marksmanship exit one scum and the contestants make quick work of this optional challenge not sure if that trip was worth the challenger's time, but it made for some good TV. Maybe we don't have to open. Need to use that key card on it. There we go. Controls are busted. We'll have to find another way around. He swaps his appearance with a defender. Catastrophic! She makes the kill shot! Daring them to come to her. He's reeling after that one! And the scum hits the deck! Unable to dodge that incoming fire. Did you see that hit? That scum is not getting up! And it's over! So much for that ambush! Crossing this area will require some teamwork. Hmm. Looks like one of us will have to operate the switches. And the other is in for a bit of a spin. One fan, how many more to go? Round and round they go. Oh, I'll pass on that steam bath. This is going to take both of us. Could this be the exit Scarlet and Tybalt have been looking for? The door is locked, but it appears that it can be opened using those switches. Hmm, sounds too easy. Scarlet and Tybalt are entering the arena together, but will they both make it out alive? Well, that's 
that's gonna make things interesting. Absolutely brutal! She botches the shots. He wasted some ammo on that one. Bam! That's a hit. Oh, not his best shot. A bombshell out of the blue. Not so fast. I'll decide which doors will open and which ones won't. Not being able to control which door opens or when will certainly complicate the rest of this challenge for the contestants. Restoring his health. Two Tibbles is one Tibble too many. <laughs> and try saying that five times fast. Ha, showing off his skills. Boom, Shakalaka. Missed that one by inches. Taking up a defensive position. That one drew some blood. Setting up on defense. More trouble on the way for our challengers. And he's good to go again. He's got to be disappointed with that. poison and capable of healing her allies, she lives up to her lethal name on a regular basis. Looks like all the doors are now open.
Loading back up. Could be tough to get past that. Getting ready for incoming opponents. Catching up some wounds. Trying to lay a trap. Textbook shot. Sure, come in, Andy. A devastating explosion. That blast caused some damage. That's going to slow them down. Healing up! Entering an overwatch position. placement on that grenade the challengers drop a deuce and they've done it with zero fatalities what a display of talent and teamwork on the challengers and with that it's a wrap on the abandoned housing block what an episode a surprise appearance by Ulysses Derrick, the devastating loss of returning contestant Marty Manson, and the forging of an intriguing new alliance. But tomorrow night's show, set in the perilous Metro Central Station, and with not one, but two new defender types, has the potential to top even that. Don't miss it. For Homicidal All-Stars, I'm Joe Stern. Good night, everyone. and armor unobscured at all times. I can't believe he's gone. Uh, sorry about that. You wanna talk about it? I'm not giving these leeches any sound bites. What? Oh, oh the cameras? Uh, don't worry about them. They're jammed. And my algorithm's sending out fake footage instead. Good to know. Still, going to pass. Okay. I can respect that. Guess I've teamed up with the redhead for now. Wish I could figure out where I've seen her before, though. <sighs> Who cares? All that matters for now is that we keep each other alive. Shit. Gotta be careful what I say around... Paperwork finalized. Convicted serial killer Ulysses Derrick was turned over to Omega Corporation custody today. Derrick made quick work of the homicidal all stars, winning the grand prize in record time. As a regular defender on the show, Ulysses Derrick has so far proven unbeatable by any contestant, spiking the show's ratings and going from death row inmate to primetime TV star in a matter of months. Derek, you'll pay for everything you've done. By the way, I can't shake this feeling we've met before. 
I don't think so. Uh, are you sure? You ever get to Babel? No. Hmm. Well, uh, I'll take you there if we both make it. Best Vareniki in town. Sure thing. Welcome back, I'm Joe Stern, and in tonight's episode, our challengers will be delving into the former Central Metro Station. Claustrophobic and decidedly unsanitary, this stage also includes a chance for the contestants to obtain the Warden, a state-of-the-art combat mech from the engineers at the Omega Corporation. I'm not leaving here without that bot. I don't know. You really want to hang with a rocking tank that the show director could turn on us at any time? I think it's a risk worth taking. Uh... Hey, oh. Scarlet and Tybalt approach today's special scenario, the battle for Warden. It's high stakes action. Will the challengers make a new robotic ally or will they die trying? There's the Warden! But he's currently deactivated. And the switches to activate him are not gonna be easy to get to. Switch. The challengers rack up two in a row. Waiting for the opponents to come to her. Said it they'd better activate that warden before additional reinforcements arrive. Secure the Warden, but will this turn the tide in their favor? defensively for now showing some patience and they just keep on coming a dead muerta isn't that redundant a late miss on the moving target Double down! That's four in 
were tested, but didn't suffer a single loss! And they pulled it off! The Warden will now be available to the contestants during any future combat challenges. Remember, the Warden Street Model is now available for pre-purchase on the Omega War Store. That was definitely worth it. I'm going to want to get a look under its hood before I'm convinced. Get this guy on this for me! Once part of a vibrant transportation hub... defender can boost his team's offensive and defensive powers. If the challengers have any sense at all, they'll get rid of that drone monk as early in this fight as possible. Which one's the real Tybalt? Tybalt sets up a holographic decoy. Target acquired. Challengers make it two in a row! The Challengers make it four in a row! Looks like rush hour is just around the corner. for the enemy train incoming they better stay off those tracks waiting for an opportunity hoping the enemy breaks cover daring them to enter his range there goes the express Another wave of defenders! How long will it take the challengers to deal with these new drone monks? Got him with his guard down! No dice on the Overwatch! for the challengers. Oh, did any 
anybody get the number of that train? Triple kill! will let his drone do the fighting for it. What a waste of ammo! Plenty of boom, but not much to show for it. She puts him down! The monk deploys his drone shield. Who's driving those things? A bot shot! A destructive volley! What an impressive performance by these determined challengers! Looks like this stop was not our challengers' final destination! Their train to victory departs from another platform! Just great. Uh, at least the trains have stopped. and upward. She finds a reward box. Nicely done! This is a play-by-play -play announcer's nightmare! <laughs> Close, but no cigar! Exit one scum! still in the game. Hey, Scarlet. You're on your own in there. That was enough to move the train and open the way to the final challenge of the night. Wow, it's you.
and Tybalt is up to his holographic tricks again. Waiting for a better shot. That's no maintenance crew, but they are here to clean up. So much for that scum. Unable to safely reach cover. Any idiot can shoot at what they see. But what if they don't see anything at all? Looking a bit woozy there. Oh. Can't trust anything when Tibble's around. A jaw dropping assault. The challengers drop a deuce. More incoming defenders. his time. And the challengers are given an opportunity to turn the lights back on. But is it worth the risk trying to reach those switches? Scratch one, scum! for the challengers. Sets himself up for a kill shot. Standing watch for now. Here's a defender we've all been waiting to see. The Ogre. The challengers will do well to keep that mountain of muscle at a distance. Unless they want a face full of lead from his high-powered shotgun. Ogre 
needs a minute. Swapping out the empty mag. Another ogre, and he's joined by a Muerta. Now that's a deadly duo. Oh, that did some damage. Double the Tybalt, double the confusion. Oh, and she doesn't know what hit her! It's not all poison with her. Oh, that's gotta be painful. Scarlet's not pulling any punches! Bad Muir to met her match! hit from that massive The challengers make it two in a row And that's it the challengers easily defeat their opponents And with that our challengers wave goodbye to the metro station with the warden now added to the mix this team is becoming quite a force to be reckoned with. But will that be enough for them to survive the hazards of the industrial zone? Or will that deadly location, plus the new defender joining our cast, be too much even for them? Tune in tomorrow night to find out. In the event of irreparable damage... Tybalt, we need to talk. Sure. What about... I've heard you talking about how much you hate cops. And well, as a bounty hunter, I used to work with them pretty closely. So you think I hate you too? Look. If we're gonna keep teaming up out there, I just want to know what's at the root of this thing. Fine, if you insist. You already heard my on-air story. Convict who's trying to commute his sins by appearing on the show. Yeah? But there's a lot you don't know. My charge was stealing funds from the police department. What? That's, what, two years? Maybe less? Why would you come on this show instead of- Because I wouldn't have lasted two weeks inside. You see, I was a CI. An informant? You can say it. A rat. With my holograms, it was pretty easy for me to mix in wherever I needed to. So what happened? The money they were paying me with? Apparently, it wasn't budgeted for that use. Wait, so they were the ones who were stealing? Well, call it overly creative accounting. Once they realized the jig was up, they framed me for stealing the money. Saved their own asses. I got the full two years. The word had gotten out I was a rat. I knew I had to get out of there, no matter what. So there you have it, Miss Bounty Hunter. My sad story. Those pendejos. One way to put it... Anyway, hope that saves your curiosity. I'm sorry about this. I still hope we can keep working together out there, though. Well, I don't really see that we have much of a choice.
Blakey. Maria. I... How? You were talking in your sleep. A lot. Dios. The cameras. I told you I took care of them. No one's listening in. I knew I recognized you, but... Barely. You were that cop in Central District. Where I used to check in when I was an informant. That cop whose... Whole family got... Yeah. That was me. I'm sorry. Keep going. I tried to live with it, Tybalt. The injustice of it. But I couldn't. I wasn't going to get justice as a cop. My face had been plastered all over the news. So I needed a new one. A new name. A new story. I knew I was too much of a cop to try to pretend to have nothing to do with law enforcement. So I went with it. It was easy to fake a bounty hunter license from another state. Way too easy. And do you think the homicidal all-stars people checked into my background? They just want their ratings. Their money. They think that's what I want, too. And I need them to keep thinking that, Tybalt. Until I've killed Derek and Ford. But... Why come on the show? Why not just... Kill them on the street? Derek's always under guard or on the show. No way to get to him. And Ford? Well, you know how paranoid and reclusive he is. No, well, his employees are mostly psychopaths. This is the only way to get them both. On the show, I can kill Derek legally, without raising any suspicion. I'm just trying to win the show, right? Easier said than done, by the way. And winning puts me on that award stage, with Ford right in front of me, reaching out to shake my hand. Hmm. Quite a plan you've got there. You don't have to like it. Just don't get in my way. Hey, I want to win the show too. But this thing with Ford? Well, we'll talk about it. If we both make it that far. Meantime... I am sorry, Maria. Truly. Thanks, Tybalt. Time to make the donuts. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Homicidal All-Stars. I'm Joe Stern. Tonight, our challengers will find out if they've got what it takes to make it through the workplace safety nightmare known as the Industrial Zone. I hope you're ready for relentless action because this episode is guaranteed to... What the hell kind of place is this? It used to be a forced labor facility from what I heard. And now it's just a different kind of death trap. <laughs> Progress, right? That's it for the trap. The road to the final challenge of the episode is hidden behind this impassable gate. There must be a way through it, but there's a reward box waiting for the challenger who can figure out which tiles are safe to step on. Need a key card. Oh, that's a whole lot of spikes. A place station. Oh, and the challengers are faced with a huge gap! And now with flames blocking their way back, Scarlet and Tibble will have to find some means of crossing that pit. That opened up a path through the flames! We're gonna have to split up. That's one obstacle taken care of. How many more to go? What a burn! the force field.
Looks like that opened the path to the key card. Meet you at the door. Ah, some clever teamwork there. Out of the frying pan. Clear. They really like to make us work for it, huh? This challenge really highlights the fact that it takes more than just brawn to make it through homicidal all-stars. Hit by a spike trap! Please! And with that, the contestants prepare to enter the next area. But what challenges await them there? Hey, tough gun! And she acquires the reward box. off another one. Someone caught some shrapnel. He readies his sword. Say goodnight, Ronin. That's it! The challengers easily make it through the ambush. Scarlet and Tybalt approach a combat arena where another contestant is already engaged in battle. How will this situation play out? Definitely not a good time to run to the fridge for a snack. as metallic, this young weapons manufacturing CEO is no one's damsel in distress. We're here to help. <laughs> That's adorable. Just stay out of our line of fire, okay? that this new alliance is soon to be sorely tested.
Could be tough to get past that. Playing defensively for now. And the Overwatch pays off. Changer. Nice shot. Not. No question on that shot. Waiting for his more fun on the way. Well, that's going to make things interesting. Will she be rewarded for her patience? Thought he'd get lucky. That drone is programmed to kill! He can't be happy with that shot. Bad luck for him on that one. Waiting for an opportunity. The bot temporarily joins the challenger team. Those drones can absorb incoming damage. And here comes an ogre. I'm not sure even strong woman Zoe would want to go toe to toe with that brute. went completely wide! Getting ready for incoming opponents. Oh. Tibble puts the O oh, in sabotage! Laying in wait. Bet he wishes he stayed in cover. Oh, knocked for a loop. Scratch one ogre. Hoping for a clear shot. And we have a special challenge courtesy of tonight's guest sponsor, Tau Implants. 
Some valuable implants have been misplaced at the disassembly line. Our challengers can save them by hitting that button in time. That door could provide a much needed shortcut. And the challengers open up a shortcut. Daring his opponents to come his way. She bumps off another one. He swaps his appearance with a defender. Not a hit! Missed by inches! Bringing out a drone! That's going to slow them down! Waiting for a better shot! Waiting for the enemy to approach. Two targets hit with one attack. Taking some fire. And he blows the shot. Jerome shield up. Jack's the bot! Will that hologram fool the defenders? Boom! Shakalaka! The drone monk goes down hard! Zoe winds up her Gatling gun. Anybody home? One less scum to deal with. And they managed to beat the clock. Tau implants will certainly reward their efforts by implanting some cash into their bank accounts. Looks like we're seeing another team up. As the CEO of weapon manufacturer Lucky Punk, Zoe Reed is always eager to show off her products in action. And to that end, she's offered her aid in battle to scar. Thanks for the assist. Not that I needed it. But hey, it's the thought that counts. Wanna keep teaming up? Maybe make some of the upcoming challenges a bit easier? You know what? I could increase my airtime. Why not? Tell me when you're about to enter an arena. As a reminder, only two allied challengers at a time are allowed in non-combat areas. Based on the audience vote, we'll continue to follow Scarlet and Tybalt.
it's another reward box. Which one's the real Tybalt? That hit was savage! That Ronin is toast! Two in a row for the challenger. Waiting for the opponents to come to him. One scum! And it's over! So much for that ambush! Might be tough to get past that! And they make it to the other side! Having found a new ally in Zoe, Scarlet and Tybalt are approaching the final arena of the night. Will the threesome help each other survive, or will they go down in flames together? This abandoned factory is home to some vintage industrial equipment. Show director Orion Ford is offering a bonus to the challengers if they can keep two of those classic generators in salvageable condition. damage there so much for that scum he disguises himself as the enemy securing the area the Ronin is not playing around. He isn't able to reach cover safely. A jaw-dropping assault! Clean miss! for the challengers. Oh, that's gonna hurt the value on that collector's item. Oh, that was not particularly friendly. She puts him down. Ooh, that katana is deadly!
explosion. Devastating. And the Ronin is down. Feeling the pain. That one drew some blood. He hits his mark. Make it two in a row! A trilogy of terror! Standing watch for now. Challengers might want to start praying now because here comes a bishop. These fanatical snipers may not be heaven sent, but they are hell bent on sending challengers to meet their maker. his enemies to target each other. Zoe decides she needs more firepower. That'll turn anyone into a fanatic. Just like Tybalt! Nope! She's definitely not playing around! want to try that with his eyes open next time. A few more shots and those generators will be gone, along with the reward for the challengers. <laughs> oh, can't trust anything when... believe they're still standing <laughs> that ogre is bruised but he's not done Absolutely brutal! Looks like the 
yogurt neatly. The contestants went the extra mile to save the generators and managed to win despite the additional challenge. And that's it for yet another explosive episode of Homicidal All-Stars. How strong are the bonds forged in the fires of the industrial zone? We'll find out in tomorrow night's episode, set in the disaster area, where another new defender is preparing a warm welcome for the contestants. For Homicidal All-Stars, I'm Joe Stern. Good night, everyone. Welcome back to Homicidal All-Stars. I'm Joe Stern, and tonight it's the penultimate challenge area for Season 78. As the numbers of the surviving challengers dwindle, we'll follow their perilous path through the disaster zone. The site of an electrochemical catastrophe a few years back, this area remains as unsafe as it was on the day the accident happened. How many of our remaining challengers, if any, will survive its many dangers? They don't even care if anyone makes it to the finale, huh? Hey, if it happened every season, it wouldn't be special, no would it? The challengers are almost sure to get a charge out of this area if they're not careful. through the electrified gauntlet. And the power is finally turned off for good. She loves those reward boxes. That was almost fun. Wait, which one's the real Tybalt? He's trying to regenerate! <laughs> he might want to try that with his eyes open next time! Misfire on that one! Catastrophic! And the scum hits the deck! Fragged! He wasn't even close on that one! Get on target! goes the ogre more bullets more fun almost daring his opponents to come his way and a 
fake Tybalt joins the fray, trying to take control of the arena. And down goes the scum. And they both survive the... Our challengers are now approaching what was once a high-end butcher shop. But will they slaughter or be slaughtered? It's been a long time since the staff and customers got buried under the debris, but that doesn't mean this place is any less bloody nowadays. Exit one scum. The drone munches down. Now I'm And it's the season's first appearance of a fire starter. His devastating flamethrower makes it very clear. This guy prefers his enemies. Well done. Taking some fun. Out that fire starter. That's good. Oh, and the double kill. A devastating explosion. The challengers make it look easy this time around. Butcher shop cleaned up. The challengers are now free to explore the rest of the disaster zone. Yeah. Hang on. I'll get you out. Appreciate it. And the reward box that almost cost Scarlet her life is now in safe hands. Scarlet and Tybalt are approaching the arena where sharpshooter Phantom is all alone in dealing with overwhelming enemy forces. And it appears that Scarlet is intent on helping out her fellow challenger. Marcus, what's your status? Marcus. The arena is fully covered by some well-entrenched defenders, but it looks like their sniper nest might be dealt with relatively easily, if the challengers can get to that detonator fast enough. Tough break for her on that one. Looks like the... Oh, what a hit! Yeah. and wait. That was a critical hit. He's reeling after that one. He totally misses the target. And the challengers miss the opportunity to set off those bombs. She cuts him down. She's fully reloaded now. Tybalt's decoy sets the stage for some major... Not what we call a hit. What was he aiming at? Hoping the enemy breaks cover. Ready to defend his position. 
Holy hell, he means business. That's gotta hurt. Phantom just disappears. Ogre topples! And a brutal hit on the target! Waiting for his shot. Waiting for a better shot. the challenger the challengers make it four in a row a five kill streak just amazing some shrapnel damage. Phantom, but is the mysterious security guard turned sniper extraordinaire ready to enter a new alliance? Thanks for stepping in. That was clutch. We could join forces if you like. Increase our chances to get through all this. I can't. I'm on a team already. Right, right. They were a great help just now. We got separated. I can't abandon them unless I'm sure they're all eliminated. We can help you look. Oh, we can? Oh, cool. Appreciate it. The names are Marcus, Fly, and Richter. Call me if you find any of them. Or if you need sniper support in combat. To reach the wrecked highway, Scarlet and Tibble will have to make use of those elevators. Looks like we've got to split up. Getting closer. That did something. Electric barriers down! Almost there! Just one last thing left to do! Gotta appreciate those rewards! And they make it to the highway! is the master of camouflage. Oh, massive damage there. Absolutely brutal. She punches his ticket. Not even in the ballpark. He's taking an old fashioned shellacking. Nice shot. The 
challengers drop a deuce. He readies his sword. And down goes the Ronin. And it's over. So much for that ambush. The challengers are approaching a former house of worship now forsaken by even the most devout believers. Should they get ready for their last rites? The challengers came here looking for one of their own, but instead, they find themselves facing an army of defenders. Target. The challengers make it two in a row. Third kills the charm. Checkmate on that bishop. That's two in a row for the contestants. Standing watch. Setting up on defense. Playing defensively for now. Wait, what's that? It's contestant Marcus Lee! This ex-soldier may have left the service in disgrace, but he's acquitted himself well so far on the show. Take cover, challengers! I'll lay down some smoke! Gotta be disappointed with that. Ooh, that blast caused some damage. Someone caught some shrapnel. Starter is reduced to ashes. Like fish in a barrel. Feeling the pain. Swapping out the empty mag. Textbook shot. Replenishing his ammo. Some sloppy shooting there. Nash, two of them. Two down for the challengers. What a waste of ammo. Phantom marks the spot for all to see. One less scum to deal with. And it's another victory! Scarlet and her allies managed to join forces with not one, but two other challengers. But will this meeting with the dishonorably discharged soldier blossom into something more than just a passing cooperation? You're alive. Good. Good to see you, Phantom. I'm afraid Richter and Fly weren't so lucky. You... you sure? I saw it. I'm sorry. Oh, right. I haven't thanked you for coming to my rescue. I'd say it was the other way around. 
No, I don't think so. I owe you one. I will. We will. Right, Phantom? It would seem to make sense. For challenger squads, our seemingly indomitable contestants are making their way toward the final fight of this episode. If they manage to survive it, they will be just one episode away from a grand finale, something we haven't seen in quite a while. This place will definitely become someone's tomb once the fight is over. Scratch one, scum! Challengers, I'm under the impression that our relationship is becoming more and more toxic. Just like the gas I'm releasing into the arena. Oh, what a twist! As more gas seeps into the arena, the greater damage it will deal. Fortunately, the challengers can try to turn it off. She delivers the coup de grace. Just a bit wide of the mark. Guarding her position. Waiting for the enemy to approach. And he sets himself up for a kill shot. She makes the kill shot! A devastating explosion! And the challengers double down! Setting up a kill zone. Hoping for a clear shine. The oh. gas concentration is still rising! And the gas's concentration drops to a more manageable level. Marcus creates his own little healing nook. Miss that one by inches! Taking up a defensive position. My apologies, viewers. The gas I released is clearly not potent enough to properly test the challengers. Allow me to correct that mistake. Oh, what a hit! He's hurting for certain. And the fire starter is reduced to ashes. for the contestants. She takes an overwatch position. You have gone too far. The rules demand that challengers must always have a fighting chance. But they do. Like Mansa did. That was... An error on your part as well as ours. Reigns dipped significantly after his ill-conceived execution. I really think if you look at the big... This is not a debate. The on-field conditions will be reverted to previous. Irresistible! Ooh, hard to see an upside to that strategy! Oh, 
Ooh, that had to be a mistake. Matching up some wounds. A staggering hit. the map. Better find a GPS. Ooh, that mistake will cost him. Ooh, a devastating hit. Make it look easy this time around. Was unable to stop the implacable Scarlet Martillo and her allies. They're getting closer and closer to the final fight of the season, folks. But first, they'll have to slog through the contaminated shallows of the Amber Harbor and face the bizarre new defender awaiting them there. may remember the previous season ended prematurely when all of the challengers failed to survive the amber harbor area the question on everyone's mind tonight is will it prove as deadly for this battered group of survivors or will we see a proper season finale where our regular ulysses derrick has to make his stand against those who would try to get past him derrick had better get ready for us Once a safe haven for sailors, the Amber Harbor is now a ship graveyard. Will it also become the final resting place for our challengers? The deck of this old ship is littered with drums of toxic waste. If they get blasted open, it won't be a barrel of laughs for anyone nearby. on that shot. He creates a new hiding spot. Winding up for a devastating shot. to make every bullet count. And Phantom lives up to her name. And a well-thrown grenade. Taking 
with some fire! Setting up a kill zone. Could have gone better. Spooling up her weapon. Back to back kills for the challengers. Challengers beware! The freaks are on deck! These heavily augmented defenders use electricity to pin down their enemies. The challengers will get a real charge out of this situation if they're not careful. looking hit the ogre falls hard setting up on defense and the toxic fumes spread on the deck an electrifying attack no one's gonna steal her thunder! A stunning move by the Freak! <laughs> Bam! So much for that target! A moment to wind up her weapon. Rack up two in a row. Stunning! Sends her to the big sleep. Zoe winds up her Gatling gun. That's two in a row for the contestants. And that's it! The defenders have all been given the heave-ho! The challengers continue to sail relatively safely through the acid waters of the Amber Harbor. But what awaits them further along the coast?
Reward box collected. Taking advantage of a well-placed station. That door won't budge without a key card. gonna make things interesting waiting for a better shot no luck on that one unable to safely reach cover on the other side of that pool of acid. Getting there will require some three-dimensional thinking and plenty of cooperation. With the key card in their hands, the challengers can continue their stroll along the harbor. And it's another reward box. Must be a sight for sore eyes at this point. That arena of this episode. To prove they're worthy of facing Ulysses Derrick, our surviving challengers will first be tested by the Super Freak. 
but getting to this well-guarded defender won't be easy. The challengers have to fill the kilometer first. to show for it. He hits his mark. The defenders will just keep coming until that meter is full. So much for that, freak. Oh, I felt bad from here. Kills for the challenger. Boom, Shakalaka! Only one hit from that. Not much damage, but better than a miss. for some more bang bang <laughs> that fire starter got burned <laughs> and the challengers double down Ooh. devastating Ooh, did anybody get the number of that train? That freak is finished! The challengers make it two in a row! And the kilometer is full! Now the contestants will find out if they've got enough gas left in the tank to take on the Super Freak!
but just barely. Now we're seeing some fireworks. She slams another cartridge home. Couldn't connect with the target. Oh, there's a serious lapse in judgment. Waiting to make her move. Holy hell, he means business. Ammo. And she takes some damage. An ounce of prevention. There's no such thing as chivalry in this competition. Her shot isn't even close. Not a good move. It's not all poison with her. He does not miss. Shiny. And a well-thrown grenade. Risking a pause to reload. Catastrophic! Challenge. Folks, it's now official. Tomorrow night, we will witness the first grand finale in three seasons. With five challengers plus a robotic ally still in the game, the deadly, undefeated Ulysses Derrick will have plenty of targets to choose from. It's all happening tomorrow night, and you definitely don't want to miss it. Until then, this is Joe Stern for Homicidal All-Stars. Something for you, Derek. Well, folks, this is it. The episode we've all been waiting for. No challenger has come this far in months. But it seems that teamwork turned out to be the right choice for Scarlet. Not only did she survive, but she also brought a whole squad of allies to the final fight. Getting past Ulysses and the other remaining defenders will be no easy task. But whatever the outcome, this grand finale is sure to be historic. Hell of a way to get this. Scarlet, according to the polls, you are not the favorite to win today. Do you believe you stand any chance against Ulysses Derek? Oh, this sounded almost like a personal grudge.
The fans are thrilled at their chance to the see Scarlett and Tybalt up close and personal. A moment for the press. Ariel Orana, Burramega News. Scarlett, what do you say to all those who doubted you'd make it this far? There you have it. Scarlett still has a lot more to show you. You can feel the tension in this crowd, but it's hard oh, to tell yeah. who they're real... If you could be Ulysses tonight, the show will be in need of a new regular. Would you accept the role if offered? This might come as a disappointment to a... Here we go. The final arena of C... Ulysses and his defenders are determined to stop these challengers in their tracks right here. Absolutely brutal! She cuts him down! Will that hologram fool the defenders? That's going to slow them down. miss on that one oh someone called a burn unit not even close that one drew some blood <laughs> no avoiding that one Birds with one stone. Okay, you got my attention. And the scum is dispatched. Oh. Too hot to handle. Oh. was savage! Not a hit! Holy hell! He needs business! Entering an overwatch position. Destructive volley! <laughs> Never saw her coming! Oh, that did some damage! <laughs> Stunned! Showing off his skills. That was nothing to sneeze at. This ain't over yet. Ulysses is not going down that easily, especially with the support of other defenders joining the fray.
does it feel to be on this side of it, Derek? Confused? In pain? Helpless. Bitch, I never helpless. of Scarlett Martillo, Tybalt Ivashenko, Zoe Reed, Marcus Lee, and Phantom has taken down the unbeatable Ulysses Derrick and his fellow defenders. My goodness, what an unbelievable end to Season 78 of Homicidal All-Stars. I'm not sure we've ever experienced anything quite like it on the show. But there's still a bit more to come. Tune in tomorrow night for our first award ceremony in 10 seasons, where the contestants will affix. How's it coming along? Pretty fucking slowly. I've never tried to create such a small hollow field. Doesn't that make it easier, though? Eh, you'd think, right? <sighs> hey. I'm sorry for dragging you into all this. I could have said no. Yes, you could have. But you... You know, this isn't helping me get this done any faster. Are you gonna make it? With less small talk and a shitload more caffeine? Maybe. Speaking of which, you'd better hit that rejuvenation chamber. Get yourself ready for your big night. Yeah. Tybalt, I... Go on, get out of here. Before I come to my senses. Rise and shine. Whoa, that felt fast. For you, maybe. Feels. Did you get any sleep at all? Let's just get you set up. We don't have much time. Our new champions are now making their way to the main stage where they'll receive their awards from show director Orion Ford himself. The award Just an amazing season, Scarlet. What did you like best about it? Looks like Scarlet is excited about the upcoming Hey, Garlet. champion, Scarlet, over here. actually defeat the mighty Ulysses. How do you feel about it? Some might call her cocky, but Scarlet Martillo turned out to be right. Don't she was the one to vanquish the mighty way. Ulysses. Remember, don't shake you ready for this? As ready as I'll ever be. And here they are, the champions of the 78th season of Homicidal All-Stars. We've got plenty lined up for you. Season highlights, celebrity reactions, and a surprise or two. But to kick it all off, Show director Orion Ford is here to personally congratulate the big winners. Shake your hands. Did you really think I didn't know about your little plan, Maria? Looks like this ceremony is going to be cut a bit short. Fire! What the? Fire! Fire! No, Ratings have spiked. A simple execution is not in the show's best interest at this time. But the season's over. We don't have any other challenges ready. You have five minutes. To do what? Figure out how to survive. Of course. Of 
Okay, so you're sure they cleared the overtime? Because this shit is not in my contract, and I... Huh? Oh. <clears throat> Welcome back, folks. We've got some stunning bonus content for you tonight. Orion Ford's holed up here in the Omega Tower, and the contestants are hot on his heels. This should lead to the lobby. As the contestants move through the Omega Tower, they approach the elevators that could take them to the upper floors. But how will they get through the security checkpoint? Scarlet, you should reconsider. This building isn't an office. It's a fortress. Deadlier than anything you've seen on the show. If you're smart, you'll take the money and walk away. I'm not walking away from this, Ford. And neither are you. Clipped while on the run, showing off his aim. Looks like more Omega security forces are on the way. Down for the third time to his security detail. It's an Omega Sec. Elite bodyguards armed with advanced Omega weaponry. The contestants may have finally bitten off more than they can chew. Retirement for that, Omega Sec. The challengers make it. Oh my! And the challengers double down. The challengers make it four. No one can resist that siren's call. That Omega Sec is up to no good. And there's some shrapnel damage. <laughs> that Omega Sec is off the clock. To loaded. Catastrophic. The contestants are able to make it past the security forces. But in the meantime, what has Orion Ford been up to in the R&D area? Looks like we're all in for a real treat tonight, folks. The top floors of the Omega Tower are normally off limits, even for most of the employees. But for the first time ever, we're about to get a live tour. To say we're in uncharted territory here would be the understatement of the decade. What the hell is that? Nothing good. Let me see if I can disarm it somehow. You wait here. Copy. Good luck. Hey! Try to save some parts for my R&D, will ya? It looks like Mr. Ford was not joking when he said this place is no mere office building. Whatever those lasers were originally designed for, right now they're making big trouble for the contestants. Whoa! 
That explosion must have shaken the whole tower. But the lasers are offline, and Scarlet and her teammates can proceed. Coast is clear. Let's go. The contestants find themselves locked in. And here are the aforementioned robots. That's the Omega 209 model, the newest battle mech designed for military use. The bot changes sides! And he eats some lead! Doling out the... A devastating explosion! Hmm. Two down for the challengers! Three in a row! Effective, but just barely. That did some damage. He wasted more robots incoming. Going for the batteries? That might do the trick. And he finishes him off. And one of the lips is down. position does not pay off. No luck with the op That bot just got decommissioned! The challenge... And that's it! The robotic tide has been stemmed! And down he goes! Caught him with his guard down! And the grenade finds its mark! The challenger's rack... Triple kill! Stunned! That's four. Double kill. Sharing the pain. And the cutting edge battle mechs are not enough to stop the contestants. Turn back now. I'm more than ready for you. You don't need to die. Nobody does. Wrong again, Ford. You need to die. The contestants are now entering Omega's Experimental Weapons Division, where showrunner Orion Ford is apparently a... Welcome, contestants. Looks like the time has come for our final meeting. I see now that the judges were right. They usually are. It would have been a waste for me to simply execute you all on stage. Killing you all here instead, on the field of battle, will be so much more... Mm, dramatic.
some drama, Ford. Hiding behind a force field? That force field looks like it will make things a lot easier for Mr. Ford, and a lot tougher for the challengers. Someone caught some shrapnel! Back-to-back -back kills for the challengers! That was nothing to sneeze at! This round finds its target! Trying to lay a trap. Going on defense for a bit. Feeling the pain! Security, send more men in, quick! The coup de grace! And the challengers Can't be happy with that shot. That did some major damage! A close call! Mr. Ford is in charge of a small army! with extreme prejudice! It's a one, two, three kill spree! And he hits his target! Oh, that's gotta be painful! Cover me. I need some time. Let's see how well you hack under pressure, shapeshifter. Security, send those reinforcements in. Waiting for the opponents to come to her. Dot. And the security reinforcements are here! Meanwhile, Tybalt is still trying to give an edge to his teammates. And the contestants hold out. Almost done here. You are almost done. That's three! That click! Taking some fire! And it finds the mark! And a well-thrown grenade! Hoping they make a fatal mistake. Bingo! I'm gonna need to get to that other terminal. You're not going anywhere, fool. Do your thing, Tybalt. Leave this pendejos to us. Oh, a lethal-looking hit! an Omega Sec agent. Hoping they'll walk right into her sights. Pick 
knocked off. Sniper-like precision. Staying put for the moment. He doesn't look so good after that one. <laughs> he makes the kill shot. Make it two in a row! He's reeling after that one! Rest in peace! Back to back kills for the challenger! All right, it shouldn't take too long. This is starting to test my patience. Guards, stop toying with them and finish this. Almost there. Guards, why are these pieces still standing? Oh, guards, now. Two in a row for the challenge. Two for one. was a crit And he blows the shot! Another terminal over there. And is that a gun? Looks pretty special. Don't even look at that! You haven't signed the NDA! Watch out! I'm getting you that gun, Scarlet. Take your goddamn hands off that terminal! What is it, Ford? Suddenly not so self-assured anymore? And she finishes them all! Two in a row! Third kills the charm! Kill. A My goodness! A perfect storm! Oh, my. Hmm. They took Time to see how this gun does against that force field of yours. Now now. Let's be reasonable, Maria. Put that down, and I'll make you richer than you can imagine. You and your family will be set for life. I don't have a family anymore. Remember? More where he came from. Two down for the challenger. some lead while on the run. Someone caught some shrap. Incredible. My goodness, that's... Set the stage for it, then profited from it. And now, you finally pay for it. You are exceptional. 
truly our greatest champion ever. We would like to offer you a permanent position on the show. What? You want me to become your new Ulysses? Because I've had enough of you. No, with Ford gone, we need a new director. We believe you would make... Fuck you. This show killed my family. Your show. You're just as complicit in their deaths as Derek or Ford were. You think this little game of yours is over? You think you're safe where you are? Think again, and watch your backs.